Hello there and welcome to my channel. My name is Sharpe Yunus and in this channel we will be presenting Android video tutorials. In this tutorial we will be integrating OpenCV into Android application. So what is first OpenCV? OpenCV stands for Open Computer Vision Library. It's an open source computer vision library that helps and provides the infrastructure to do computer vision and machine learning application. It has several interfaces to, I don't know, like Windows, Linux, and Mac OS, and especially Android. We'll be doing the integration with Android today. It also featured CUDA, which is stand for the open, stand for the GPU, GPU thing, to use the GPU into your basically Linux, Windows, or your Android. So, the first thing is to create an Android Studio project. Okay, so we'll be creating new empty activity here. We'll click next, name it whatever you want. I will name it Open Open CV. Okay, I will be using Kotlin as a language. Or you can open your existing project in which you want to integrate Open CV. Great. Basically, there is two ways to integrate Open CV into your project. There is well the easiest way, and there is the the complicated way. It's not that complicated, but we will see in a minute. So the easiest way, you will, you will go first to QuickBird Studio repository. They have an OpenCV Android repository in which you can copy just a simple dependency, which is this one. They provide an, uh, they provide an easy way to integrate OpenCV into your Android application via Gradle. It's just simple as that. Copy the implementation with OpenCV with contributions. Okay. Click and copy here, go to your Android Studio, under Gradle scripts, choose build.gradle file, okay, for the app module and not the project module. Great. Here, just paste that implementation. You will need to get rid of this and this, and we need basically a version. Now, OpenCV has several versions. You can check check these versions from the releases in OpenCV. Go to OpenCV org slash release. I'll be pasting the links in the description below. So here there is multiple versions of, of Android of OpenCV. I will be choosing three point. I will be choosing three point four point fifteen. This one. You can copy it and also check that QuickBird Studio support it. Here it is. Okay. Go to Android Studio and paste it here. Great, and now you can simply click Sync Now. Nice. Now, Android Studio is fully compatible with uh, with OpenCV right now. You can check this in your application by doing a simple command line, simple line of code. Uh, so, OpenCV has a class open called OpenCV Loader, in which you have a method called init debug. This will basically initialize OpenCV into your application. Now, this method, as you can see, it returns a boolean, which means if it, which which tells if the initialization process were correct or not. So we will just display the output of any debug. Okay, we can do simply that in the text view or simply in log bar in the log line. Okay, we we'll copy that. We will say open cv loading status like that. And in Kotlin, you can use string templates, something like that. We'll copy the tag for open CV. Great. Now we have just run the application. When we will be running the application, we will have an issue, an issue in my computer. Yeah, it's because I need Java 11 to run. You can simply fix this by going to file and choosing setting. In the setting menu, go to build execution and deployment, search for build tools, and now click on Gradle. In Gradle GDK, you have to choose 11, okay? GDK 11. I'll be using the default with, with Android Studio, okay? Select that and click OK. Great, now you can launch your application. I'm launching it in my emulator. Now go to your logcat file and here, filter on the debug because we use log D which stands for debug and here just choose 
open cv and now you can see here is our file our line open cv loading status was true it means it's loaded correctly okay that's the first the first method of using open cv into android project okay the second way is a bit different okay so go to your build and okay what i did uh, okay go to your build file and here just delete this line great now click sync now we will have some problems because we have to also delete this line and this line okay now check that the application is working correctly great the application is working correctly now we have to integrate opencv the second way so first of all you have to go to the releases panel of opencv you have to choose your version there is multiple versions to work with and once you choose the version make sure to, to download the android the android sdk and not other sdk okay just click on the android sdk and it will download okay that's the first step so basically i have my file in my desktop here i download i downloaded 4.5.2 so you will open it and just extract it extract opencv into a specified location that you like okay now here make sure you have the sdk file because there is a there is a bug with android studio right now to import a module okay what i mean by that if you go to file and select a new and select import module this is the normal way to import uh, to import to import opencv into your project so what you need to do is to click here select a desktop directory and choose opencv the extracted the extracted opencv and on in the sdk select the java folder and click ok now there is a bug with android studio in the moment in the moment we are recording this video you can't click next or finish which is a bug okay right now they are fixing it okay so we will do the process of this of this wizard of importing module from source manually so the first thing to do is to go to your opencv here copy the sdk folder okay copy it and go to your source of the app you can basically click right open in and choose explore great here you can just paste it paste it here great you have to rename the file you don't have to but it is optional i will rename it to know it i will choose open cv and basically i can have a version name like 5.2.2 like that click ok great now in android studio there is nothing appearing we have to tell the gradle the gradle script to use the open cv module go to setting.gradle file and here tell him to include the app and the opencv just be sure of the name of this folder i will just copy it and paste it here okay and click sync now great it will try to sync it great and here you go opencv42 is here great and you will see another file of build.gradle opencv here it is there is this is how you can import it this is documentation basically sometimes there is some error with this file you will find the plugin com.android.application you have to change the application to library this one is good so it has no problem you can change also the target sdk version and the compiled sdk version to match the application version here is the application version it is 30 so change it here also to 30 here and here click sync now and we are ready to go so if you go here and you will try to use the open cv loader you won't find it why because the app module this one doesn't know anything about this module so we have to tell him okay so basically there is a method a simple method go to this icon which means 
project structure or go to file and select project structure okay here under dependencies click on the app and we will add a dependency to the app okay the dependency is a module dependency because opencv is another module okay click on module and select this make sure you keep the implementation dependent the implementation and click ok another ok and everything is good what happens under the hood is that we have the android studio added this line added this line you can we can do we can just copy and paste this line without going to project structure and adding the dependency module. okay now if you if you want to type opencv TV loader we will find it. okay we will do just the same thing as we did before with the first way of quick bird studio uh it's log d okay go to plus no we will use kotlin template open cv loading status okay something like that something like that and choose we copy this line Okay, we will change the tag to something else. So we'll just make it tag like that and we will launch our application. Okay. Go to the lockout tab and here search for tag. And we will wait. Once the application is launched, we must see a line here. Good open CV loading status true great which means that the Android Studio and the integration with open CV has done successfully okay that's it for the video of today I hope you enjoyed it I hope you learned something if you learned something please leave a like and subscribe to the channel we will be doing a lot of Android stuff in here in this channel thank you very much and see you in the next video